Yes, it's Popmaster back with us again. Oh, we've missed it. I have, anyway. And I've no doubt our first contestant has as well. First contestant today, brand new on Greatest Hits Radio, is Laura Weir, who's in Oxfordshire. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Ken. I'm very uh, happy to be here with you today. Well, it's I a del delight to have you with us this morning, Laura. You are the, you've made history. You're the very first Popmaster <laughs> contestant on Greatest Hits Radio. But don't worry, there's no pressure. pressure. No pressure whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about yourself. Uh, from Oxfordshire at the moment, where are you originally from? Originally, I come from a place called Falkirk in central Scotland. Yes, in I, Glasgow and Edinburgh. I may just have heard of that. Uh, Falk yeah. Falkirk High and Falkirk Grahamston, the two famous stations yeah. there, yes. <laughs> uh, so what took you down to Oxfordshire? Oh, um, well, a man, essentially. I met my partner, my current partner. And, uh, yeah, that's oh, where he lived, so uh, I, I followed him. <laughs> Men drag you into all sorts of trouble, don't they, really? But yeah, they here do. you are now down here, so you, you, <laughs> you're coping with it. Good. Tell me about the work you do. What is it? Oh, well, just two things. I do a bit of teaching. I'm a biology teacher, and I also work um, for an autism support service. Oh, brilliant. For, um, adults. Oh. And uh, and I also um, part-time study a psychology degree uh, with the Open University just to keep the, the old grey matter ticking, you know. How do you find the time? It's amazing. And uh, at home, who are the family? So, I'm a child and my dog, Rodney. Rodney! Rodney yeah. sounds like a delightful little thing. Is one of these handbag dogs that you can carry around? Um, the, he's at the end of the, the spectrum. He's uh, a Rottweiler. He's quite <laughs> big and quite meaty. Okay. A big hand, you'd need simple. a big handbag for that, really, wouldn't you? Yeah. I've got a big, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. Well, <laughs> I think we need to play the game. Are you ready for it? I'm ready, yeah. Right, well, in that case, choose bonus questions. Oh. Ride em, cowboy, or what a pain. Ride em, cowboy, or what a pain. Oh, let's go for what a pain. What a pain. We hope it won't be. We hope it'll be easy going for you. Anyway, Laura, you ready for them? As I'll ever be. Okay, in that case, wish you the best of luck, and here they come. <laughs> According to Paul Simon's 1976 hit, how many ways were there to leave your lover? Oh, um, a hundred. Uh, you're 50, 50 ways out, I'm afraid. It was uh, oh. 50 ways to leave your lover. 50. Never mind, right. never mind. The songs Mother's Talk and Shout were top 20 hits in the 80s for which group? Mother's Talk and Shout. Was that Tears for Fears? Tears for Fears, is that what you said? Sorry, you're just a little unclear. Yeah, yeah that's, fears, that's yeah. I thought what you said. It's three points for you. Well done. That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, here's your first bonus question. What a pain. You're about to hear the second of two top ten hits achieved by this American female singer in the 80s. Can you name her? Oh, it seems to me that joy and pain and sunshine Ooh, and pain. It seems to me that joy and pain. American female singer in the 80s. Who's that? Oh, um... Don't know that one, Ken. No. No. Be a guess. No. Whitney Houston. <laughs> okay, worth a guess. No, it was actually Donna Allen. Donna oh, Allen. Oh, okay. In 1994, the song "Just a Step from Heaven" was a top ten single for which vocal group? Uh, Eternal. Eternal is right. Well done. Although there were different songs. What three-word title is shared by hits for Elvis Presley in 1960 and Lionel Richie in 1984? Three-word title. Um, Elvis in 60, Lionel in 84. Uh, night long. No, bad luck. You would have been right for Lionel, obviously, but no. Stuck on you is the title. Oh, name. yeah. Right. Of course. Okay. Bonus question. What a pain. Please identify this legendary group from their only record to make the charts in 1984. <laughs> Who are they? 
I saw my mind from blank. No. Okay. It's actually the police. The police with King of Pain. Oh. In which year did this week's top three have Love Really Hurts Without You by Billy Ocean at number three. You See the Trouble With Me by Barry White at number two. And Save Your Kisses For Me by Brotherhood of Man at number one. Uh, 19... 88. Oh, yeah, a little bit, I'm afraid. Like 12 years, I'm afraid. 76. Oh. It was 76. Right. Bad luck. The group King had a top three hit in 1985 called Love and What? Um... Love and... Love and... Love and kisses? No, nothing as nice as that. Love and pride. Love and pride. Oh, okay. yeah. Here's a, a bonus question now. What a pain. In 1993, this group achieved their only UK top ten hit with a double A-sider. One of the songs was called Top of the Morning to You. And this was the other one. Can you name the group? I came to get down, I came to get down So get out your seat and jump around Jump around Jump around Jump around Jump up, jump up and get down 1993 it was. Who are they? Oh, that would be House of Pain? Yes, it would indeed. You're right. Well done. Nicely done. And here's a final question. Up was the title of a 1992 number one album for a group that took their name from a Bernard Cribbins hit in the 60s. Which group is that? Oh, um... The group took their name from a Bernard Cribbins hit of the 60s. And Up was the title of their mm. number one album in 92. Who are they? Um... Uh, no, I don't know. No, it's Right Said Fred. Right Said oh. Fred. Okay, Laura, your final score is 12 points. You okay with that? I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah it's not it's my not, finest bit not, ever. But it's not bad at all. Not 12 zero. points. It's won frequently in the past. It may again today. And uh, we'll find out a little bit later. Our next contestant joining us, it's Richard Todd, who's in Cheshire. And Richard will be here right after this. Everyone stops for Popmaster. Catch up with the Daily Podcast on the Greatest Hits Radio app. I guarantee that tune will be in your head by tomorrow. Today, we are with our second contestant, who is Richard Todd from Sandbatch in Cheshire. Hi, Richard. Good morning, Ken. How are you this morning? Oh, I'm very well, thank you. All the better for hearing you back on the airwaves. God bless you. Thank you. Lovely to have you here. Uh, you're no a, bit of a bit of an old DJ yourself, aren't you? Well, yeah, I did it for about ten years, mobile DJ down in the south, yeah. Okay. Whereabouts? What sort of places? What sort of gigs? Um, sort of in and around southwest London, Middlesex, Surrey, those sort of places, and the normal stuff, you know, weddings, um, 21st, 18th, stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Did you have a DJ name? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not the one you're prepared to admit to, anyway. I, exactly. I, I was called. I was called a few things, but uh, I won't, yeah. we won't go into that. Yeah. At the at the moment, the job you do is what? Um, I work uh, for myself, uh, just uh, dealing the uh, import export business. So uh, you know, shipping uh, goods in and out of the country. All right. Do I say ducking and diving, or is that uh, that p pitching it a little on the low side? Um, not quite, <laughs> Del Boy, but you know, getting there. Good for you. And what about family? Who have you got? Uh, well, I live with my wife, Keely, um, and uh, that's it. Just the two of us uh, living here, and um, uh, yeah, I've yeah. been uh, living in Cheshire for the last five years. Excellent, excellent stuff. And you're a bit of a quizzer, I believe. Um, I do like my quizzes, yes. Uh, we have spoken before at a previous address, oh. um, but uh, yes. Okay, and how did you do last time? Not too bad. I won't say any more than that. <laughs> I, just, okay. I just hope you don't give me any jam questions, Ken. Oops. No, I'm not very good on them either, <laughs> as you possibly know. Oh, so I oh, heard. Right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, in that case, let's see where we get. We've got 12 points as the targets, and you must choose bonus questions on either of these topics. Ride them, cowboy, 
or ups and downs. Ride them, cowboy. Uh, ups and downs. We'll have ups and downs, please. Ups and downs. These are the yeah. ones you fancy. Okay. Well, we are ready. Twelve points. Remember that number. We wish you the best of luck. And Richard, here they come. The New Seekers had a top three hit in 1972 called Beg, Steal, or... Borrow. Borrow is right for three points. The Colour of My Love and Falling Into You were both number one albums in the 90s for which Canadian-born singer? Uh, Celine Dion. It was Celine Dion. Here's your first bonus question. Ups and downs. In 1974, this brother and sister act achieved their first hit duet with this revival of a 1964 hit by Dale and Grace. Can you name this couple, please? I'm leaving it all up to you. Who are they, please? Uh, that's Donny and Marie Osmond. That's exactly who they are. Six points. Although different songs, what title is shared by hits for Simple Minds in 1986 and Tattoo in 2003? All the Things She Said. Very good indeed, yes. Different songs, same title. Good Morning Judge and Art for Art's Sake were both top ten hits in the 70s for which successful group... 10 cc 10 cc is right again bonus question ups and downs here's a top 10 hit from 1986 by status quo can you give me the title though of their only number one status quo what's their only number one please down, down. It is down, down. Very good indeed. In 1987, the song Labour of Love was the top ten chart debut single for which chart act? Hue and Cry. Hue and Cry. In which year did this week's top three have Informer by Snow at number three, O Carolina by Shaggy at number two, and Young at Heart by the Bluebells at number one? Uh, that was 1993. It certainly was, yes. Bonus question, ups and downs. I'm going to play you the second of two top 40 hits achieved by this performer in 1976. What's his name? Tired on some evenings, she get mad and cry. I'm in a town, a tip of woman. You're a downtown, down deep guy. What's his name, please? I believe that's Randy Edelman. You're exactly right. It is Randy Edelman. And here is your final question. The band Cutting Crew had its only top ten single in 1986 with which song? I just died in your arms tonight. You, you did anything but you are alive and fully <laughs> alive with 39 <laughs> points, a full house. Well done. Well Thank done you. indeed. Yeah, that's brilliant. Let's give you a cheer if we can. Yeah, it's a big cheer. Oh, yes. Wow. 39 points. That's brilliant. Well, look, first day, that's not bad. So, 39 <laughs> points, that's mean, that means you have won. You don't need to go through the torture of 3 and 10, but you already have your smart speaker. And, in addition to that, you get a 12-month subscription to Greatest Hits Radio Premium. So, you get Greatest Hits ad-free as soon as you sign up. So, a smart speaker and your subscription for 12 months, that is now yours. Congratulations. Well done, Richard. Thank you, Ken. So, yeah, all those years quizzing, they've paid off today. <laughs> yes, Good. they have. Well, look, well done to you. Fantastic work. Couldn't have started any better than that. 39 points. Your name goes on the big list for the, perhaps some special little excitement later in the year. We'll find out. We'll find out. I I'm looking forward to some excitement later on in the year. Well, we all are, aren't we, basically? <laughs> but there you are. We'll see what we can do with that. Richard, brilliant stuff. So, uh, okay. if, if you would like to use 30 seconds to say hello to anybody, we're prepared to allow that still. Yes, of course. Um, I'll just say a quick hello to my wife, Keely, who's listening in the lounge. Um, and then we've got some Facebook groups that I'm members of. Um, first of all, the fantastic Ken Bruce Preservation Society who have uh, seen managed to pres uh, preserve you. <laughs> God um, bless. God we've bless. Got, uh, we've got the Greatest Hits Radio Ken Bruce Fan Zone. Um, my Sunday night Zoomers group, who uh, we have a quiz every Sunday. Uh, the Popmaster with Ken Bruce's group. My uh, friends at uh, Digispy. 
And um, that's about it, really. Ken, thank you very much. You think there's some scope for amalgamating all these different groups? Is there something that could be done there? Well, I think there's too much rivalry, Ken. Oh, I see. It's like that. <laughs> oh, it's nice to be fought over, I'll say that. Well, look, Richard, fantastic to talk to you. Brilliant work. Thank you very much for being on today. Great. Thank you very much. All Thanks, the best now. Ken. Bye. Cheers now. Bye-bye. Well, that's a start, isn't it, Richard? Todd, didn't he do well? So, Laura Weir, now the good news, Laura, is that, uh, well, the bad news is you lost. The good news is that you get to two, three, and ten, because he he goes straight through and got his immediately. So, are you ready for that? Oh, thank you. Um, yes, sure. <laughs> and well done to Richard. That was an amazing it, performance. It though. was yeah. utterly well, amazing today. and very, very welcome. So, anyway, today you are going to go through and do three and ten. Ready for that now? Go on, then, yeah. Go on, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's have a go at it. So, today, please... The titles of three UK single chart hits for three and ten. Rod Stewart. Oh, um, do you think I'm sexy? Yep. Uh, sailing. Um, oh, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, 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 the time oh, went. I'm afraid that's terribly bad. Very bad luck. Very bad luck indeed. Uh, uh, what was the second one you said? I, I didn't quite catch I that. I said failing, and I think I was just a bit too late for Maggie May. You were a, just a bit too yeah. late for Maggie May. I'm so sorry. But sailing you That's got, okay. yeah. I thought you said failing, and I thought, no, he didn't do that. But um, <laughs> any, anything but. Anyway, look, for you, we've still got a pretty decent prize, okay? Your prize yeah. is a Popmaster board game. Normally, you see, Ooh. normally you'd get the T-shirts, but we're still having them, you know, made up somewhere around <laughs> the world. Uh, so you're getting, no, you, you, you've gone beyond the T-shirt. You get the Popmaster board game. So well done, you. Oh, wonderful. Thank okay. you very much. Right. Ben. And, and course, please, may I have a fine photo? Yes, yes. Once again, they're being printed just now. <laughs> we're getting there. Uh, <laughs> if you would like to say hello, we give you 30 seconds. On you go. Oh, it's Sure. Just a big hello to my partner Charles, who's my rock, my soulmate, my best friend. My mum, Isabel, sister, Christian, niece, Bethany and Volker. Miss you very much. Thanks to Angela and Rod for welcoming your family. Also, Kathy and Neil and their gorgeous daughter, Robin. Uh, shout out to all those who have supported me over the past few years, including Sarah, Reese, Emily, Myrtle and Mark. And everyone looked after me in the GR hospital. And to my friends, Matt, Joe, Paul, Wolf and Tasha and to anybody else who knows me. Lovely stuff. Well, great to speak to you today, Laura. Thank you so much for taking part. Oh, thank you, Ken. Thank you. All the best now. Bye. Bye. There she goes. It's Laura Weir. If you'd like to take part in Popmaster, it is popmaster at greatesthitsradio.co.uk. I expect to hear from you. <laughs>